Good morning. But now I shine with your reflection on me. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to pre-flight isolation day 2.5. I stuffed up and completely forgot that I'd moved my hair appointment to Friday. I had it booked for a couple of weeks ago and then I was like, oh, this is really silly. I should get it done before I go away. And so I moved it and completely forgot until I got the text when they're confirming your appointment for 12.45. I was like, fuck. Um, but it was only like, uh, I think I was in and out within an hour because it was just a cut and a toner. So I went and look, there was me, my hairdresser, another hairdresser and another person that was like three feet away from me. So more than that, six feet away from me. So, you know. Anyway, so yes, we're now back on the isolation wagonio. We have just got a Woolies order. Um, just with it's just a few things that we will need between now and Thursday when we fly out and a few bits and pieces just to have in the house because my boyfriend's mum and dad and sisters are going to be tag teaming to come and feed Paddington um, and so we've got like some snacks and things that they can eat if they come they might like come and watch a bit of TV here with him or something if he gets lonely so just a few things like that a few things for the last meals but other than that we're going to be trying to eat down the freezer and the like so I thought we would do an ISO daily vlog thought it might throw us all the way back to lockdown and whatnot this by the way is voluntary isolation there is no requirement to isolate there is also no requirement to test I just one don't want to get sick before flying because I've flown with a cold before and it literally oh my god it feels like your head's going to explode so I don't want to do that and there's also this cold going around as well as as well as uh, COVID I don't want to risk getting COVID and not know about it and get on the plane and give it to somebody and I don't want to actually get COVID and give it to somebody. <laughs> so, um, and I also don't want to be in that dilemma of like, am I sick enough? That kind of thing, which I mean, could totally still happen. Look, I, I was torn with when to start isolating because logically I was in Sydney until Thursday night. So I could still get sick like today from something I caught there. So if I had it my 100% anxious girl way, I would have isolated for two weeks before so that I had plenty of time to get sick do the seven days mandatory isolation, get better and go. But it just wasn't realistic. And when I was telling people, people couldn't even believe we were doing one week. And so it's just a risk I'm willing to wear. If we, if we get it, we'll just move the flight. It's just the way that it needs to be. I was, it was gonna be too hard to do my job <laughs> and do the things that I had committed to. Um, because also like um, clients and brands and things were, were quite, understanding that we were doing a week of isolation i think if i had had to cancel everything because i decided to do two weeks i would have like burned some relationships there so i will take on the risk that if i get it we will have to move the flight so yeah you know it's where do you draw the line <laughs> where do you draw the line um but anyway i'm gonna put this stuff away and then my plans for the day involve editing my sydney vlog for the second time because I edited it all, it was looking pretty good. I was like, sweet, I can get this up before I fly, film a couple more vlogs and edit them on the plane, and then <sighs> all the files corrupted. Love that for me. So I have learned my lesson though, never start editing until the files are fully imported. Cause like when you import them from the memory card, you can start using them in projects before they're fully uploaded and then they corrupted before they were fully uploaded. So I had like the thing it would play, but it couldn't get out of my editor. So I have learned my lesson now, just wait for them to upload, take the memory card out, then edit. Well, I heard a phrase the other day, you either win or you learn. You either win or you learn. And I quite like that. Still kind of unpacking it, but anyway. Speaking of unpacking, let's unpack the food shop. This stuff is crack. Um, before someone at me, yes, I do feel bad for getting bags. I wouldn't normally do that. We always use our reusable bags. However, one, my boyfriend ordered and that meant that he took bags. But two, I'm actually not that mad because we need some bags because I've been an absolute Facebook marketplace hound recently. I've been putting things out for people to come and collect in bags and I have no more viable bags for them to come and pick stuff up in. Um, so I actually need some carry bags and they will get reused with gusto. So 
please forgive me please forgive me also not that this is uh this is such an influencer recommendation as if you don't know what milk is good but this so good barista almond milk <laughs> is the best for making home coffee that tastes like the coffee shop this and if you, if you have this and you have a bean to cup machine like my delonghi baby you're good you're sweet you never need to buy coffee again psych i buy coffee all the time but i wouldn't need to it's a choice <laughs> I saw someone posting their like unedited bedside table the other day and it was still so aesthetic whereas mine is just like complete reality. All the cups, medication, jewellery, water, clock, light, a galaxy bar I ate last night. <laughs> Look we keep it real fam, we keep it real. Alrighty the order of the day is editing this vlog which I'm currently doing in this <sighs> chiropractically offensive position. Hopefully I will get that done this morning, fingers crossed. Pray for me. I don't want you to have anyone. And if you don't want me, there's something wrong with them, right? Maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone. Have I lost my perception? Feel like I wanna do something wrong now. Packing all your belongings. Say you wanna take some time. So I'm just sitting here editing and my cat loves when, when I sit with my laptop like this so he can sit there. I think he feels like he's, sorry about that shit by the way, we're getting ready to go overseas. Um, I think he thinks that he's like sitting under something. He thinks he's like borrowing. So I'm gonna see if I can put the camera down so you can see. Alrighty gang, ScoMo's called the election. So now I'm off in the pursuit of how I vote because I'm not gonna be here on election day, which sucks because I was really looking forward to it. But I kind of knew I wasn't gonna be. Um, and so I either need to do a postal vote, but I don't know how that works. And it's only letting me register if I'm living overseas, which I'm not, I'm just on holiday. But I might just vote. I might just go and vote in London. You can go and vote at the embassy or something, Australia House. So I might just do that. But we got the we got the vlog fixed and uploaded, so that's good. We've set the scene for my comeback to YouTube because I'm hoping to do a bit of vlog content while I'm away. Um, and now I'm going to do a YouTube Grow with Joe workout. My exercise routine of late has been not doing any exercise that's the routine that we're in i've just been i've just honestly been too here and there to even think about fitting it in i've just not had a single second it hasn't even been those times i'm like oh i should work out i don't feel like it no not even that literally just like there is no time in the day so rather than be like oh well i just won't do anything then i'm just gonna squeeze in little workouts whenever i can and so today is one of those days so we're gonna just do a Quick change, I might try and do a little transition. Let's go. That was really fun, actually. It's 40 minutes, including warm up and cool down. Um, just good beats, good vibes, would recommend. Just showered and starting the travel prep. Um, so shortly we are going to attempt to wax my own legs. <laughs> and being the maniac that I am, I've never had my legs waxed before, I don't think. Maybe one time when I was like 16 for prom or something. But even then I don't think so because it was always too expensive and I didn't like the regularity of the of the cost. Um, Cause you know, once you've had it done, you, you keep going. So I've never done it. But for some reason, I've just got the idea in my head that I'm gonna do it myself. So that'll be fun. 
that'll be fun content. And then the St Kilda game is on at 3.20, so we're gonna watch that as well. So, in a plot twist of the day's plans, I've just come outside for 10 minutes because it's a really lovely day today, unexpectedly. Look at that sky. Look at that. A washing day, if ever I have seen one. So, like, all of our washing is drying. Um, but I just, oh my god, I've realised that the last couple of weeks I have not, like, since Sydney, because I barely went outside in Sydney, I haven't, like, had any fresh air. I haven't been going for, like, walks or walking to the station or anything like that. So um, I thought I'd just come outside, have a cup of tea, which is the Wakey Wakey Tea from T2. Big fan. And um, just read 10 minutes of my book. And then we're going to embark on the leg waxing saga. <laughs> to a winner hit. Let's <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it's quite simple. I guess like certain bits of your leg are more sensitive. Yeah. Hello, post wax vibes. Um, so the leg waxing went very well. My camera died halfway through and I was just too sticky to do anything about it. Um, I wonder if I can show you leg job was pretty good like there's the occasional stragglers but I can probably work on that but I mean again for a home job pretty happy underarms so I did try and do the underarms as well uh, it's just really difficult it's like it's painful but that's not even really the issue it's just like it's just difficult so and I don't want to get I don't want to mess it up so I did one pretty well but the other one I ended up giving up halfway because I was like I'm just going to tear my skin off with this I think it's because it was my left hand um but yeah overall I'm pretty happy um it definitely takes practice and I can see why you would go to a professional <laughs> but it's not as hard as I thought it would be at the same time like the, the precision is difficult but actually like doing a good enough job like I'm a good enough kind of gal doing a good enough job is remarkably easy and not that painful really and I have quite a low pain threshold so <laughs> you know take it from me waxing success story we'll see what happens overnight hopefully I don't come out on a big red rash or something but yeah time to watch the football just give my hair a quick blow dry 
uh, in between quarters and now I'm just gonna give my skin a little bit of TLC because much like my exercise routine, my skincare routine is in the toilet. So it's necessary. getting ready to post some ad content tonight which is a lot more stressful than <laughs> than I ever knew it could be before I did it and then it looks because you've got to get especially now you've got to get all the Instagram tags and things right you know it says like paid partnership um you've got to get all of that right and there's a lot of admin and also there's often several 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 versions of the content that you're putting up um and you like beforehand you've got to get everything ready to make sure you're posting the exact right thing you've got to make sure you've got the links and links particularly if they're trackable links can be quite difficult to input into instagram because it will drop off the trackable part so you're going to get all of those things ready all the captions ready make sure that sometimes when you copy and paste captions like smileys drop off or Maybe you've put like a direction in there, like use heart emoji and you need to actually go in and put that emoji in. And it sounds really silly, but it's just like the most fiddly part of the job. Um, and it gives me the most anxiety. And because usually we're posting in the evening, you're sort of like waiting all day, knowing you've got to do it. So you're like watching the time, not losing track of time, making sure that you are, yeah, primed and ready to go. So I'm just going through now and getting everything into a folder. So there's been many, many versions of this. And obviously there's like clips that I've used that I've used to make the final content. I've got to make sure that the final things are going up. So I've got that in an album. And then on my notes app, I'll have the captions that I need. So the real caption. And then sometimes you have to include mandatory hashtags and things like that. Um, and sometimes that means when you've submitted them for approval, they're not like actually linked hashtags and stuff. So you need to re-put them in over the top. So <sighs> more stressful than it sounds, but still a super lucky job. <laughs> so not moaning, just explaining. We ordered pizza. I'm gonna sit down and eat my pizza and my wedges and watch pieces of her. Females cute, but are they even real men? Jealousy, I think it's jealousy, but hell with it, still look a melody. Or maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone. Have I lost my perception? Feel like I wanna do something wrong. Monday morning now and we are absolutely nailing life so far um last night after my pizza we just um got into bed and I can sleep till 3 a.m so that was nice um but I've got a relatively easy-ish day today so <laughs> saying that I could be filming content this afternoon but either way like it's at home I'm not going anywhere it's all good um so I've just been in bed for the last hour uh, closing deals. <laughs> no. I've just been getting more confident at sending out ideas to brands I want to work with, so I've just done a bit of that. I'm trying to negotiate a collab uh, at the moment. And yeah, just doing some emails, finishing some things off, um, getting everything ready to go away, really. So I think I will wrap this one up here and maybe get started on another vlog to edit on the plane for you to watch while I'm gone. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. 
Bye. Bye.